Alright guys, we are in jQuery functions, jQuery functions and selectors. Let me take a sip of my Monster Tea Energy drink. Please sponsor me. But uh, no. <laughs> Anyhow, jQuery functions and selectors. Let's get going. Alright, so practice makes perfect. Set up your jQuery code script JS tab. Watch out, little one. Um with the document dot ready and pass it a function so we are scripts js and to set it up we need say our document dot ready and in our ready is a function oh my god cat um i wonder if any other coders have this problem with their cats document <laughs> dot ready and we call a function we're saying ready this ready all functions and then bam semicolon and then it'll be hide the orange div so we're gonna say um div dot hide I think that's what they want and there it hid so it looks like it's working properly we're good to go so now we're learning a new jQuery action called dot click that we'll learn more about soon alright um, see how the See how it passes the dot ready and the dot click. You'll be able to see the tab fade out. Alright, so it's just saying look at how that works. Check out the preview window. All looks well except for number four. Uh, create a variable called target and script JS. And use the equal sign to assign jQuery selector. Alright, so this is how you create a variable. So we are going to say var, and don't forget the that. Uh, target is equal to I guess maybe this whole thing we still need to do it like so and we'll do target dot put this above it it might make a difference here hmm I feel like this should work let's try Submit. No, I didn't think that was going to be it. All right, let's look at the Q&A form because maybe I'm misunderstanding what they're asking. And that is number three of 13. Let's see this.
Okay, so it looks like we're almost there. So, there's a couple of different ways to do this. The way this did it was it created an ID and set it equal to chumps. And then chumps just got selected. I think it's ID. Script JS. And then they just set a variable. Oops. Equal to that instead of a string. Pound chumps. Is that still not working? Let's go back and look at that example one more time. So ID equals chumps. Okay, and we have to put it, the cache symbol in front of it, and a semicolon. Okay, it's, it's a little bit of an error on my end. And because we're using jQuery, that goes in front. And now it's gone. Cool. So let's just go over real quick what we did. We added an ID to this for just this list object. And then we said on that ID, that's our now we now set this target to it, and then the target is fades out. So remember when we told you to ignore the paragraph equals in the last lesson? Well, now you know that what it does. You should also know that it should have been the dollar sign p, create a variable dollar sign div and cite it instant div using do not use do not use document ready or any additional code. Create a variable. I will say div equals div. Okay, is that it? Do we do anything with it? No? Okay, so we're just setting a div variable here. Give dot ready a function as an input inside your functions call fade and slow on the currently invisible div to, to bring it into view. There's a fade in as well. Alright, so document dot ready and then in that we're gonna call a function And we want the div, right? We want div dot fade in slow with a capital I. See how it faded in? You see it again right there. So let's get some practice with the dot click action. So finish jQuery code so that will make all four divs cla divs of class dot vanish, fade out, slow, and w when a button is clicked. So we have our dot click function, and we want to make sure the divs are all e named the same. Okay. So we'll say vanish dot fade out and let's just copy this first part. Oops. And fade out, we want to set that to slow. And then here we want to do, oh, is that it? So, save and submit. Did you call dot click on button? Uh, 
Okay, so we need to assign the click function to something, and this is just for button. So what's that we're saying? When you click the button, do this inside here on these objects. So when you click this button, fade out any of the vanish divs, which are right here. So save and submit, then we click that. And it didn't fade out, so something's wrong. Yeah, this might be a dot. I always get this confused. Save and submit. There you go. So, a little bit of a syntax mistake on my end. We, uh, when we're calling the the class, it's a dot. When you're calling an ID, it's a pound. So now we want to update our jQuery code so that it only fades out the div with the ID pound blue. So, simple enough. So this is pound blue. And the blue goes out. So let's use a compound selector to apply a fade to, to both the dot pink and dot red selector. Use a compound selector. All right. So here we want to do two things. We want a dot pink comma dot red so this is a compound selector when there's more than one it sounds like and we want to dot fade to and then we'll do slow and then comma zero did you put it the document inside Okay, and then uh, we have to call this. Uh, it was document document. Ah. Not ready. Function. And we could have also probably messed up here by forgetting a semicolon. I just did a bunch of Python, so I apologize if my my uh, semicolons are off. They just do it by indentation. Uh, but you can see right there that it worked. Let's see it again. All right. So check out this code in script.js. Instead of using fade out on all the divs, we're just using it on this div where this refers to the div you're clicking on so let's see here so this that's pretty cool you know the drill turn document into a jQuery option object rather and call the ready action no need alright so we have the document we need it to be ready we need a function and something's going on in there all right inside the dot ready parentheses add your function all right so Add the dot click event handler on the pull me. So we're just gonna say pull dot because it's a class dot pull me dot click so when you click uh I don't know. 
assembly coin. So we're just setting up. We haven't actually told it to do anything when it clicks. We're just saying when you click this object. Create a dot panel object. Yeah, so inside the click, we want to create another function. That makes sense. So, function, and here is where we tell it what to do. And we're going to say we want it to call. dot panel class yeah there is so instead we want it right here we want our dot panel and what do we want to do with it dot slide toggle and we want the input to be slow let's see if it works and bam you can see right there now you see me now you see me and one more time bam now you see me not too bad um so very cool responsive sort of jQuery stuff and it looks like we're at the well done screen so that was the end of our jQuery functions and selectors not too bad just getting into the getting into it and up next we're going to be creating HTML elements probably doing a lot more in-depth stuff with uh, jQuery but I'm really liking it so far and I'll probably use it on my site just to kind of demonstrate some skills and stuff like that but um, as always guys comments suggestions uh, someone just suggest sent me a message uh, yesterday asking for me to do videos on iOS so expect that pretty soon um, I'm going to be using the iOS uh, section on Team Treehouse. I haven't used Team Treehouse before, but I've heard good things, so I'm going to try it there, and hopefully the videos come out very nice. But uh, everything's appreciated, guys. I appreciate the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next video.